Welcome to Laws and Deped Orders and Memoranda Explained. In this episode, under Strand 1.4, Research and Innovation, we focus on Deped Order Number 16, Series of 2017, the Research Management Guidelines. This order institutionalizes a culture of research in basic education by defining clear processes for proposal submission, evaluation, funding, and dissemination. It ensures that research is ethical, evidence-based, and aligned with DEEP's basic education research agenda. DEPED Order Number 16, Series of 2017, builds on four key foundations. First, RA 9155 mandates research as a tool for reforms and policy development. Second, DO 13 of 2015 established the policy development process, ensuring that policies are evidence-based. Third, DO 43 of 2015 and DO 4 of 2016 provided funding through the Basic Education Research Fund, enabling schools to access support for studies. Finally, DO 39 of 2016 issued the Basic Education Research Agenda, outlining priority themes such as teaching and learning, child protection, governance, and cross-cutting concerns like gender and disaster risk reduction. For school leaders, this means aligning proposals with national priorities, supporting teachers in accessing funds, and making research a driver of school improvement. DEEP's research management guidelines apply at every level, national, regional, division, and school, making research a shared responsibility. For school heads, this means building a research-friendly environment and acting as research managers to ensure proposals, implementation, and outputs are effective. Committees at each governance level review and align studies with the research agenda, where principals play a vital role in guiding teachers to produce quality, policy-relevant research. The research management cycle begins with the call for proposals, inviting school-based and division research. Proposals are then evaluated, followed by the official notification of results. Once approved, progress is closely monitored with technical assistance provided when needed. Any necessary changes or extensions must be formally requested and approved. Completed studies go through submission and acceptance before the final stage of dissemination and utilization where research findings inform teaching, learning, and governance. This cycle ensures that research is systematic, accountable, and impactful across all levels of DEPED. DEEP's Basic Education Research Fund, or BERF, provides resources to support education research. 75% goes directly to school, division, and regional proposals, while 25% is reserved for capacity building and dissemination with extra funds possible if 80% is utilized. Research scope has clear ceilings, national up to 500,000 pesos for one year, regional 300,000, division 150,000, and school or CLC level 30,000 for six months, all aligned with the research agenda. Eligibility is limited to regular or permanent DEPED employees with no pending cases, no prior grant for the year, and a maximum of three members in a team. For school heads, this means guiding teachers on scope and budget, checking eligibility, and ensuring proper liquidation to sustain funding access. Under DEEP's research management guidelines, BERF funds may be used for eligible activities like supplies, travel, communication, printing, food, surveys, and research dissemination. However, expenditures such as equipment, software, salaries, utilities, rentals, and overseas travel are strictly not allowed. At the central and regional levels, 25% of the fund is allocated for capacity building, database systems, conference participation, monitoring, and research publications. For school heads, this means guiding teachers to budget within allowable items, avoiding disallowed expenses, and maximizing opportunities for training, monitoring, and dissemination. The release and liquidation of BRF funds follow an output-based system. For national-level research, funds are released in three tranches. The first tranche, 40%, is given upon submission of the inception report, data collection tools, and assigned MOA. The second tranche, another 40%, is released after data collection, analysis, and initial findings are submitted with a certificate of acceptance. The last tranche, 20%, 
is released only upon submission and acceptance of the final report by the national or regional research committees. For school leaders, this means ensuring timely submission of deliverables to sustain funding throughout the research process. For region and division level research, BRF funds are also released in three tranches. The first tranche, 40%, is given after submission of the inception report or work plan, data collection tools, and assigned MOA. The second tranche, another 40%, follows once data collection, analysis, and initial findings are submitted with a certificate of acceptance. The last tranche, 20%, is released upon submission and approval of the final report by the national or regional research committees. For school heads, this underscores the importance of timely and complete deliverables to secure funding at every stage. For schools and community learning centers, BRF funds are released in just two tranches. The first tranche, 80%, is provided upon submission of the work plan, certificate of acceptance, and signed MOA. The last tranche, 20%, is released only after the final report is submitted and accepted by the division or regional research committees. For school heads, this means careful planning and close monitoring of deliverables to ensure the bulk of funds are properly utilized and the final tranche is secured. The special provisions of DEPED Order No. 16 emphasize accountability and ethics in research. First, all grantees must sign a memorandum of agreement and begin their study within five working days. Second, research outputs are co-owned by the author and DEPED, and any presentation or publication must acknowledge the department and secure prior approval. Third, all research must strictly follow ethical standards, ensuring consent, confidentiality, and respect for indigenous peoples, children, and other vulnerable groups. For school leaders, these provisions highlight the need for timely compliance, proper acknowledgement, and the highest regard for ethical practice in all research activities. DEPED Order No. 16 is strict against plagiarism and fraud. All proponents must submit an anti-plagiarism declaration, and any violation results in blacklisting from future funding. To prevent this, school heads must monitor the originality of outputs and ensure proper citation. Likewise, failure to complete deliverables means returning the full research grant. This reminds school leaders to closely track research progress and provide timely support so projects are finished and funds are safeguarded. We've now covered DEPED Order No. 16, Series of 2017, the Research Management Guidelines. Under PPSSH Strand 1.4, this policy highlights the role of school heads in ensuring that research is ethical, evidence-based, and aligned with DEEP's priorities. As research managers, principals must guide proposals, support teachers in accessing BERF funds, and make sure outputs are used for school improvement. Let's now put this into practice through a short test to check your understanding. Unistructural Basic Recall 1. During the School Improvement Plan, SIP Mid-Year Review, a school head is asked which DEPED policy provides the official framework for research management at all governance levels. Which policy should the school head cite? A. DEPED Order No. 13, Series of 2015 Policy Development Process. B. DEPED Order No. 16, Series of 2017 Research Management Guidelines. C. DEPED Order No. 43, Series of 2015, BERF Utilization Guidelines. Or D, DEPED Order No. 83, Series of 2011, Disaster Risk Reduction Education. Multistructural, listing slash connecting. Two, which of the following activities are eligible for BERF funding under DEPED Order No. 16, S, 2017, I, Purchase of laptops for teacher researchers. Two, printing of survey questionnaires. Three, transportation allowance for data collection. Four, participation in international conferences abroad. One and two only. B, two and three only. C, one, two, and three only. Or D, two, three, and four only. Relational integration slash application. 3. During a division research conference, one school head reports that their school aligned its BERF-funded research with the Basic Education Research Agenda, BERA, 
Another reports they used findings to revise their SIP. Which action best reflects the integration of research management with school governance? A. Conducting research only when funding is available. B. Using research outputs to guide SIP revisions and instructional decisions. C. Limiting research participation to teachers with prior research experience. Or D. Allowing external consultants to write proposals for faster approval. Extended abstract, generalization slash transfer. Four, a school in Northern Samar experiences flooding every year. As school head, you want to institutionalize an innovation that aligns with SBM WinS and DRRM principles. Which strategy best applies DEEP's research and governance frameworks? A launching a one-time cleanup drive led by teachers and students. B. Developing a school community flood management project anchored on research and SIP integration. C. Assigning parents to bring water filters for temporary relief. Or D. Waiting for LGU assistance before implementing any intervention. A school head in a remote barangay faces poor internet access. Teachers struggle to submit online reports for research. Which leadership response reflects both PPSSH Domain 2 and innovation? Require teachers to travel to town proper every week to submit reports. B. Set up a school-based research office using offline templates and periodic submission to the division. C. Delay research until internet access is stable in the barangay. Or D. Transfer research responsibilities to ICT teachers only. The division office requires all schools to submit research aligned with BARA themes. A school head must train teachers to generate quality proposals. Which action best reflects PPSSH domain for developing self and others? A. Organize a mentoring program where experienced researchers coach new teacher researchers. B. Assign only senior teachers to write proposals to ensure approval. C. Require teachers to submit proposals individually without feedback. Or D. Contract a private consultant to draft proposals on behalf of teachers. List of correct answers. Compare this with your own answers. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content on school leadership, DepEd policies, and NASH preparation. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an update we're here to guide you on your journey toward becoming an empowered and impactful school leader. Let's grow together in leadership, service, and excellence.